Right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Red Sonia um, it has basically lost all of its creative talent. Um, I say creative talent quite lightly here, but basically, uh, it's lost the lead, and apparently, the director has exited. Now, this isn't necessarily a huge positive either, um, because I want to go back and look at some of the reports, and basically, the people behind this film on a whole are not the right people for Red Sonia. They're just not. Uh, the lead. Uh, Hannah John Carmen leaving is a shame. She's actually a, a pretty good actress. Of course, you know, she's not uh, fair skinned and super red in the hair, which, you know, the clues in the name of Red Sonia. So it was a bit of a dumb casting choice. But from an acting perspective, she was talented. She is a good uh, actor. The director was a terrible choice. But everyone behind it was like, yeah, they're amazing. We love uh, Joey Soloway. Epic. What a great person to. You know, helm this feminist icon being the fact that they are a literal they them. What does that mean? You have uh, what? That doesn't mean you're a good feminist, does it? Let's be honest. You literally don't identify as a woman, so that doesn't make any sense uh, to why you'd be the perfect fit. But never mind. Uh, and of course, the writer behind the film is, for all intents and purposes, still attached, and they're not the best either. So. Let's dive into uh, the current report being that they've left anyway, and then we'll dive into some other bits and pieces. Okay, so Red Sonia film has reportedly, well, basically just lost the star, Hannah John Carmen, which is uh, this individual here, I guess kind of rose to prominence in Ant-Man and the Wasp. Um, again, good actress or actor, whatever is PC, I don't bloody know anymore. But uh, obviously not a great fit for Red Sonia, uh, being that she doesn't look remotely like Red Sonia. Uh, but she's still a good actor. Uh, but director Joey Soloway uh, has departed as well. This is all rumour at this point in time, but relatively decent source. So according to a new report, Millennium Pictures' upcoming Red Sonia film has lost not only its lead actress, Ant-Man and the Wasp star Hannah John Carmen, but also the project's second director, Joey Soloway. Now, again, this is of course what you know Red Sonia looks like. You know, she's basically wearing an armored bikini, she's got a, you know, tits hanging out. Um, you know, she's most little boys' wet dream. Um, and most women would, you know, look at that and go, Yeah, cool, that's what a badass, you know, that's epic. Um, but they're obviously going way, way, way off the reservation with respect to their depiction of Red Sonia, being the fact that I mean then again, fair skin, red hair, not remotely the same. And in today's climate, would you have Red Sonia walking around with, you know, a cleavage looking like that? Probably not, let's be honest. Um, which is part of it, right? Like you talk about feminism and things like that. Part of being empowered is the ability to, you know, rock <laughs> you know, rock what your mother gave you and be proud of it. So it seems strange when um, feminists in this day and age want to hide everything. And you know why? Because they don't look like that and... Uh, they have insecurities. Um, but anyway, John Carmen and Soloway's attachment to the film was announced by The Hollywood Reporter in May 2021, with the latter proclaiming, Hannah is a very talented actress who we've been following for years, and she is Red Sonia. There could not be a greater moment in our world for Red Sonia's way of wielding power and her connection with nature and our planet. Sure, whatever. She's an ancient heroine with an epic calling, and translating that to the screen is a dream come true for me as a filmmaker. Well, now we knew all that was just PR spin, because she gone. Uh, again, rumour at this point in time, but I'd say pretty... Um um, pretty good source. So, uh, yet despite this previously voiced excitement, a new exclusive from the Illuminati claims that both John Carmen and Soloway have since stepped down from the project. Um, so, regarding John Carmen's decision to pass on a chance to don arguably the most famous chainmail bikini in fiction, <laughs> as if that they, as if they were going to show that. Um, the pop culture news outlet noted that their sources had informed that it seems that it just didn't work out. Basically. I mean, it's the second director. Highly unlikely that uh, this film, you know, is being steered correctly. This is going to be a film with multiple executives, multiple financiers trying to get it off the ground, and they're all probably disagreeing. So as for Soloway, no specific reason was given, 
Um, now they say for his departure, uh, as far as I can tell, they are a they them, but whatever. Uh, however, the Illuminae d did reveal that they would be replaced on the project by Solomon Kane and Silent Hill Revelation director MJ Bassett. Um, I don't care. You know, maybe that would be better. I don't know. Uh, at this stage, because it's that's going to be the third director, it's not a good sign, no matter what way you look at it, uh, regardless of who they're replacing it with. So conversely, the role of Red Sonja is currently open to casting, with no actresses in particular currently being eyed to depict Robert E. Howard's Hyborian warrior on the silver screen. Casting is open to anyone from anywhere, and ideally she's 5'8 or taller, uh, as per their sources, but the most important aspect for the role is the ability to perform action sequences, as action is crucial to the role. Sure. Now, uh, Red Sonja is currently slated to begin production in May. It's not going to begin... Uh, if that begins production in May, honestly, you know, I spank my ass and call me Sally. I'll be surprised. Um, but here we have the reason why not to be overly super happy about it anyway. Because we've still got Tasha Huo uh, on board to write it. Okay. Now, uh... <sighs> You know, Tasha Huo, not the best writer out there, not going to lie. Not the best writer um, in the world. So, not not the worst, um, but certainly not the best. Uh, in terms of what else Tasha Huo has been known for, uh, not, not done an awful lot, not going to lie. Not done an awful lot of stuff. Um, so, it's not... Not not a great choice. Um, personally, I'd, oh, I don't think so. Anyway, uh, not you know, not in my eyes. Um, and you know, if you go to you know their sort of Insta you know not their Instagram, sorry, their Twitter and stuff like that, they're um, yeah, I don't know. I I just you can see you can see their leanings in what they retweet and things like that. And you know, it's not. You know, basically retweeting like policy decisions by Biden and things like that, which does matter, FYI, um, which does matter because, ladies and gents, this is an individual trying to write, you know, well, Red Sonia with her tatties hanging out. I mean, it's not going to happen, is it? Right? It's just not going to happen. And we've got to bear that in mind. Um, but the biggest red flag, and again, remember, these are the same people behind it still, uh, was always. Um, Joey Soloway, right? It was always Joey Soloway, uh, who, as far as I can tell, well, I don't really know, to be fair. Is like a they, them? I'm not sure. I don't know what they are. Um, and the same people behind the film are still working on it. They're still hiring and firing people. So I would imagine they've still got the same hiring and firing process in terms of well, the remit of their choice. Like they're, they're still not good at deciding stuff. MJ Bassett being on board. I mean, does it matter when the financiers and the money people behind it are, you know, creating these kind of decisions? Really? Probably not. But there you go, ladies and gents. What do you think? Let me know down below. Cheers. Thank you so much. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit subscribe. Follow me over on Twitter. Link's in the description box. And Instagram. Link is in the description box. Uh, and also, if you fancy it, check out my second channel. Link is in the description box. Have a great Saturday. Take care.